Brothers with Amit, today we are going to answer this question and perform a demo. How would you convert month number into month full name and month short name in SSIS package? So let's uh, uh, take a look what we have here. We have a flat file that has month number in them. So uh, we have a month number and then we have some data. So it uh, goes with 1, 2, 3, 4 and all the way 12. And uh, then um, uh, these are different uh, uh, data rows with the different month numbers. I'm going to put uh, an extra one with the uh, wrong month number. So there is no 13 uh, month. We have only 12 months test data. But I'm putting somebody made a mistake and they put another row there with the wrong month number. So what is our goal? We want to convert uh, these month numbers into month names. And uh, that's what we are going to do. So let's go to SSDT and uh, create a new package. So I have a package here. Let me maybe drop this one and create a new. So we are going to call this one package one. It is uh, we are going to rename it uh, uh, convert month number to month name. OK, now what we have here, we need to read the data from a flat file. So I have to have data flow task as in the data flow task. We read the data from different sources and we can apply different transformations. So we are reading the data from flat file source. Go to sources and get the flat file source here. Let's make it a little big. So we see that open it, make a connection to your source file. So in this case, my source file is source file. Uh, and uh, that's in the input folder and uh, it has uh, the uh, column names in the first row so I'm going to leave this one as it is it is a delimited file so we can see that uh, <clears throat> excuse me it read uh, the data and it's shown us correctly now the next part is if you want to change the data type of these column you can go ahead and do it right now what it is doing uh, it is uh, considering month number as a uh, uh, worker 50 so that's not true it should be number right so let's change one to the uh, four byte sign integer so we change this one to the integer value now good columns and uh, take a look uh, here the next part is we need to have a transformation that can convert uh, the month number into month name we can use a derived column transformation and write some expressions uh, to convert that so let's uh, open the derived column here we can use that month number column and write our expression i'm going to bring month number here and then say equal to equal to that's the way i'm checking the value is equal to one and if it, that is true so we with the question mark that we say if a month number is equal to true so what value we want we want january um you why okay now with the next statement uh, like the way we write case statement or if else statement we have to have else part of that so we are saying if uh, that's not true the value is coming something different uh, then what we do so here we'll take the same copy of that one and then we go for the next month so we are saying uh, okay if month number value is one that's true that should be then we give us the january and uh, if uh, that's uh, equal to 2, then give us uh, February. So FEB U R R A R Y. Okay. And then we say else uh, and then keep repeating ourselves. So we can write this expression all the way. And th th then at the end we will say December. Okay. And uh, that, that's how we can write our expressions here. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to copy this part and write all the expression in front of you uh, to show you how it uh, work. Let me copy this part and the December part is not really correct here because we do, we are not translating every month to the December. We have to write all the way and then and la the last one will be December. So take this one, go to the SSMS here and now we are copying this part copy from here let's check for the next month so we have a uh, March so we are saying if it is 3 then uh, this should be March right and spelling of uh, February I uh, wrote them wrong so they will be F E B R U A R Y so that's the right spelling of February. So we have March. Then we are going to do the for the April number four. 
and then we say April then paste the next one so we keep checking for each of them and the writing of our expression number five is uh, May and the next one is uh, June and the next one is uh, July and the next one will be August sorry for uh, taking in the time August and we have uh, then we have a uh, August September October September and then we have October for 10th month OCT and then we have November and then we have December so for the tw number 12 we have December right okay so remember we had some uh, data that came with the month number 13 and in those cases uh, uh, what we can do what we can do here we can put uh, if the, these uh, month number does not exist between 1 to 12 uh, and uh, that, 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 that then uh, we want to translate uh, that part to the uh, wrong month name so if uh, uh, they are between 1 to 12 we will be translating to the month name and if not we will put uh, a wrong month name and we can use the conditional split uh, to uh, redirect that row later I'm going to show you that part as well so uh, let's go here and now put our expressions here and uh, if you make it a little big you will see that the it is converted to the Unicode right now and uh, the length is 14 you can uh, uh, convert to anything you can ca cast it and uh, convert to the let's say we want to convert the, this one to the uh, we say DT we want to convert to the war card so I'm going to write that part so we DT STR and then we want to write uh, 15 and uh, the comma uh, 1252 that's the code and uh, then put the parentheses here go all hit end and then put the parentheses at the end so we are translating for the entire uh, or casting the entire uh, uh, expressions uh, uh, to the war card now we will name this one as a month full name okay so we have created the month full name here the same way we can take this expression and instead of full January February and March and April and uh, uh, whatnot we can uh, change that one to the short we can copy from here go back to the SSMS uh, and uh, paste it here and then convert uh, this one uh, let's uh, take this part out and instead of a uh, full name Jan and all that uh, February Control Z made a mistake here and you will be doing Feb and March MAR so that's how you can uh, make uh, short names so I'm gonna take this one as it is just uh, to show you uh, uh, go at the end copy and then bring it here and add a new column month short name I know some of them I didn't show them but you can go ahead and show them the way you want it so uh, here this one we don't need this part because this was copied when we copied the entire thing so okay so now we have month short name and month full name and uh, remember I didn't uh, shorten them out like June July and all those so you can go ahead and do it and uh, they they will be fine now let's go and bring the multicast here and uh, then implement uh, our data viewer so we can see that if the month names are translated correctly to the uh, sorry month numbers are tr uh, translated correctly to the month names so now wh what we see here for one we see January and uh, for two we see February and uh, these are the shorter name what I did uh, and for other ones I didn't do it so that's why their complete uh, names are coming and then uh, you can see for 13 uh, the data is coming uh, as a wrong month uh, name 
uh, number or name so for the 10 uh, is also come in uh, as a uh, wrong so wh what happened why did uh, this 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 uh, part uh, was not translated to the correct uh, so let's go back in our expressions and see if we have even expressions for this one so let's check this one out we have one two three four five six seven eight nine and uh, here we missed the part September we missed 10 so that that there was no expressions available for number 10 so that's why they were translated to the wrong month name so let's go back and fix it now so that's very important when you um, write the expression check them a couple of time and uh, make sure run them in the bids and uh, that take a look on the by using the data viewer or writing to the file or uh, different uh, destinations <coughs> excuse me and uh, make sure your expressions are working correctly okay now hit okay and uh, we should be fine now and uh, as everything worked fine correctly for us for now just the only month 13 days that's not available for us so uh, that's why it put the wrong month uh, name now if we wanna want to uh, redirect these rows uh, we can do that we can use multi condition split here and put it here and uh, write expressions uh, and we can say that month uh, month full name if a month full name is equal to uh, hold on one second let's copy that uh, from here but whatever we put it here so we put that month wrong month name so let's go here and write it here if uh, what we are saying if month uh, name month full name is equal to wrong month name uh, redirect this one to the wrong uh, um, redirect rows okay so anywhere the, the month full name will be wrong month name they will be redirected to the redirect rows output and then the rest of that will be go to the good records we can give any name to this output i'm going to give good records so now what you see here let's bring two multicast here and put them so you can see the right or correct records are redirected on one side and the wrong ones are redirected on the other side so that's that's one way to redirect your rows put the data viewer here so let's run it so what we see here there are two data uh, viewers one with the same redirect rows that has only one record and there is other one right here and that has all the other good names or correct information so that's how you can redirect the rows by using the condition conditional split to multiple outputs I'm sorry for making this video really long I want to take a entire you know step-by-step -step approach and show you how the things work how the SSIS package is created and to answer our question again you can use the derived column transformation and write the expression the way we did it or you can use uh, the script uh, component transformation inside the data flow task uh, to translate your month number into month uh, short names and month full name i have a post on uh, how to use the the script component transformation uh, to convert the month number into month uh, short name and month full name uh, right next to this answer thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in next video